So suppose you want to have $200,000 in your savings account when you retire in 30 years, and you have a retirement account that can earn 8% interest, how much you do need to deposit each month to meet your retirement goals. So notice here that we're depositing money each month, and that tells us that we're looking at an annuity. We're saving money, we're putting money aside, and so that tells us this is going to be a savings annuity, and so that we know what formula to work with here. So let's start with what we know. So we know our interest rate is 0.08. We know we're depositing money each month, and so our number of compounds or deposits in a year is going to be 12. Uh, and we know the number of years we're interested in is 30. We also know that the amount that I want in the account after 30 years is 200,000. What we don't know is how much my deposit should be. So using my account, uh, my formula, I can go ahead and set up that 200,000 will need to equal, right, because that's my, that's my P30. So 200,000 is going to equal D times 1 plus R over K to the K times N minus 1, all divided by R over K. Uh, so plugging the values that we had into the formula. So as it is, this formula is kind of unwieldy, uh, and so I might go ahead and say, let's see if we can figure out what 0.08 divided by 12 is uh, to figure out this 0.08 over 12 part, and oh, that's an ugly number. Oh well. We know that we should keep at least three decimal places, so I could write 200,000 equals D times 1.00667, right, because I'm rounding this to 0 .00667 and then adding 1 raised to the power of, let's see, 12 times 30 is 360 minus 1 all over 0 .00667. Now I can pull out my calculator and say, let's see if we can figure out what this part is. So I'm going to take 1.00667, raise it to the power of 360, and now I need to subtract 1 from that, so minus 1 gives me 9.948. Now, I could write that down if I want, but as long as it's in my calculator, I might as well go ahead and divide it by the 0 .0067. So let's go ahead and divide that by 0 .0667. Gives me 1491.57, uh, and so I have now 200,000 equals D times uh, 1491.57. Okay, and so now I only have one step left to solve. I just need to divide. So let me get this and get myself some room here. Uh, so D, after dividing, will be 200,000 divided by 1491.57. And I could go back to my calculator and figure out that that's $134.09. Uh, and again, that's approximate. We did round a bit, but that's probably going to be within, probably within a dollar of the correct monthly amount.